Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, today is uh, September 11th. Uh, we mark the 19th anniversary since the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City, uh, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and um, the heroic actions of those on an airplane uh, which crashed in Pennsylvania, um, sacrificing their lives uh, to protect others and prevent other life from being taken um, by some terrorists. We remember also today the, the lives of many who, you know, brave policemen and brave firemen who ran into burning buildings, um, even buildings that uh, they knew were going to come down on them uh, to try to save lives of people who they didn't even know because that was their job, because they cared about that. It's a great example of human virtue and valor in the face of great evil, uh, which we should always remember. Um, I'd like to read to you a little bit from, Psalm, from uh, Joel chapter 2 today. Yet even now, declares the Lord, <clears throat> Return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your garments, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Some people really on September 11th, 2001, and afterwards started wondering, where is God in all of this? Where is God in all of this? The prophet Joel continues. He says, between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? God is present with us in the midst of disasters, in the midst of evil and hate. Even so, he sends his son, Jesus Christ. He sends him to be with us, to take on human flesh, to go to a cross, to save those, even those who don't know him. I pray that you do know him, that you'll return, relent, turn to the Lord. The Lord continues in Joel chapter 2, he says, pointing towards the restoration of the Savior, he says, You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is none else, and my people shall never again be put to shame. Jesus accomplished that for us on the cross. And then he gives us a further promise, a promise that's fulfilled in the Holy Spirit. It's a promise that um, comes with the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, and it makes the church part of the God's promise for all peoples. He says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female servants in those days, I will pour out my spirit. The Lord has plans, good plans in place for you and me, and for all who believe in Jesus as their Savior. I pray that the Lord would be with you this day and always for the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.